On the morning of 4th May 2013, Malawi held its very first Raspberry Jam event. We've got some demos set up on Raspberry Pi computers, which I'm going to tell you a little bit about later. Then we're going to do some short introductory lessons to programming using Scratch, which is an amazing uh, way to learn how to program. And it's it makes it so easy and it makes it so fun. And then lastly, we've got some guys in the room who've already been working with Scratch for a couple of weeks and they've made some games. So we're going to play those games and you guys can vote on which one you think is the best game and the best game will get a prize. The Young Innovators Malawi competition was announced. It's an innovation competition for young people in Malawi, school kids or college students. If you're interested in technology, get a team together and apply for this competition. The challenge of the competition is to write a video game for a Raspberry Pi computer. So if your team applies, we'll give you a Raspberry Pi computer and some things to help get you working. And uh, we'll hook you up with a mentor to keep you programming and help you learn how to program. You can develop your game. And then at the end of the year, in December, we'll have an exhibition where everyone can come together, show the video games they've developed, play each other's games, and we'll give out prizes to the best game. Several Raspberry Pi demos were shared with nearly 100 participants. In our case, we need a keyboard and a monitor. Uh, that's why we, we are going to connect a hub there, so that we put in the keyboard and the mouse, as well as any other extra devices that are going to need USB. But uh, if you need anything more on top of it, then it's a matter of you understanding what the pie is doing, what you need to do. We had a problem in our house where we wanted to brew beer, but the recipe said that the beer had to be precisely 18 degrees in the fridge for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And the fridge that we had at home, I didn't even know what the temperature was, right? Because there is no display on the, on the fridge. And I also thought that it, the temperature in the fridge would maybe fluctuate a bit. So we used the Raspberry Pi and then a little other little circuit board, which we bought, allowed us to precisely control the temperature of the fridge. Media Center is just a software that is downloaded, free software. Yeah, you just download it, you fire it up, and uh, that's, that's, that's uh, okay. Nice. Yeah. This should say, this should show us where we are. Um, let me just make sure it's looking at the right place. Oh yeah, there we go. You got that? I don't. You see that? We're right. We're right in the middle of. We're right in the middle of Bishop Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. Adam, can we send you on your bike? He's got a Raspberry Pi in that bag, okay. powered by a battery, connected okay. to an Airtel by a dongle, uh, and with a GPS dongle. Wow. And we're going to watch him yeah. on this phone. So I'm going to go around the block and we'll see what happens. Hey, look at this. Perfect. You wrote Pi. Yeah. Pi. <laughs> you can see it. Thank you. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Short workshops introducing Scratch programming were held. Organizers and kids showed new games they had written in Scratch. Everyone had a lot of fun. You're amazing. Oh, I'm so impressed. You can even run and jump at the same time. Sixteen seventy six. Okay, space. Congratulations! 
Join us on 7th September for our next Raspberry Jam and the launch of the Young Innovators Malawi competition. You can find us at younginnovators.net.